Hey guys, welcome to vidichacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss trigonometric functions of complementary angles. So, in order to discuss trigonometric functions, let us consider a right angle triangle. So, here there is a triangle ABC right angled at the vertex B and let angle A is equal to theta then the angle C will be equal to 90 minus theta. And now we already defined the trigonometric ratio sin theta which is equal to opposite sin by hypotenuse side. So now let us find the value of sin 90 minus theta. So this side opposite to the angle 90 minus theta becomes the opposite side. So here AB is the opposite side. So thus we can write AB divided by the hypotenuse side. So here AC is the hypotenuse. So we get here AB by AC as the value for sine 90 minus theta. So now let us consider angle theta at the vertex A and the side opposite to the angle theta which is BC becomes the opposite side and AB becomes the adjacent side to the angle theta. So here we can write AB as the adjacent side to the angle theta divided by hypotenuse side. So here adjacent side divided by hypotenuse is the definition for the ratio cos theta. So hence we can say that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta and now let us name this equation as equation 1. And then we already know that sin 90 degrees is equal to 1 which is equal to cos 0 degrees and also sin 0 degrees is equal to 0 which is equal to cos 90 degrees. And now let us name this equation as equation 2. So here from both the equations 1 and 2 we can say that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. For 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 90 degrees. And similarly let us find a trigonometric function for cos 90 minus theta. So from the definition of cos theta we can say that cos 90 minus theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse side. So from the figure BC becomes the adjacent side to the angle 90 minus theta whereas AC becomes the hypotenuse side. So here we can write BC by hypotenuse side which is AC so now here BC becomes the opposite sign to the angle theta. So here we can write BC as opposite sign to the angle theta divided by the hypotenuse side. So here opposite sign by hypotenuse side which is the definition for the trigonometric ratio sine theta. So therefore we can say that cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. And now let us name this equation as equation 3. And here we already know that sin 0 degrees is equal to 0 which is equal to the value of cos 90 degrees. So that implies we already know that sin 90 degrees is equal to 1 which is equal to cos 0 degrees. And now let us name this equation as equation 4. So from equation 3 and 4 we can say that cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta for 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 90. So here we can say that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta and cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta. For 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 90 degrees. And now let me explain a simpler way to remember all these trigonometric functions of complementary angles. So first let us consider a graph where we have x-axis and y-axis. So here we can name this quadrant as quadrant 1 and then this quadrant can be named as quadrant 2 whereas this quadrant is quadrant 3 and then we have quadrant 4. So hence we can say that the angle between 0 degrees to 90 degrees lies in quadrant 1. So second quadrant consists an angle between 90 degrees to 180 degrees and the angle ranging from 180 degrees to 270 degrees 
falls in quadrant 3 and then in the quadrant 4 the angle will be ranging from 270 degrees to 360 degrees and here both x axis and y axis will be positive in the first quadrant and in the quadrant 2 will have negative x axis and the y axis will be positive and in the quadrant 3 both the y axis and x axis will be negative and in the quadrant 4 x axis will be positive whereas y axis will be negative and in the quadrant 1 all the trigonometric ratios such as sine, cosine, tangent and the reciprocals will be positive. And here the trigonometric function of angle 90 minus theta and 360 plus theta lies in first quadrant. And then coming to the next quadrant which is quadrant 2. So in quadrant 2 only sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive and rest all other ratios are negative and the trigonometric function of angle 90 plus theta and 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant whereas in the quadrant 3 only tan and cot are positive and rest all other ratios are negative and the trigonometric function of an angle 180 degrees plus theta and 270 degrees minus theta lies in third quadrant Whereas in quadrant 4, cos and its reciprocal secant are positive and rest all the ratios are negative and the trigonometric functions of angle 270 degrees plus theta and 360 degrees minus theta lies in fourth quadrant. So here there is a simpler way to remember all these trigonometric functions when it becomes positive and when it becomes negative in respective quadrants. The simple way is to just remember a formula that is all silver T cups. And now I'll explain you how this formula will work out and help you to remember such trigonometric functions. And according to the formula that is all silver T cups, we also get all. So here all means that all ratios are positive in quadrant 1. And then coming to the quadrant 2, according to the formula, we get silver here. The ratio which starts with the letter S, which is sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive in this quadrant and rest all other ratios are negative. And then coming to the quadrant 3 and according to the formula that is T. So here we get T in the quadrant 3. So here T starts with the alphabet T and the ratio which starts with the alphabet T is tan and its reciprocal is cot. So hence we can say tan and cot are positive in quadrant 3 whereas all the ratios are negative in this quadrant. And then coming to the fourth quadrant where according to the formula we get cups here. So cups starts with the alphabet C whereas the trigonometric ratio starting with the alphabet C is cos. So hence cos and its reciprocal secant are positive in this quadrant. So this is a simpler way all silver T comes to remember such trigonometric functions of complementary angles. So make a note of two important points that is the angles which are 90 degrees or 270 degrees. In short odd numbers the trigonometric ratios will change that is sine changes to cos and tan changes to cot and whereas secant changes to cosecant and similarly cos changes to sine and cot changes to tan and cosecant also changes to secant. So for example we have sine 90 minus theta which will be equal to cos theta and cosecant 90 minus theta will be equal to secant theta. As we have 90 degrees which is an odd number so here ratio changes that is cosecant becomes secant and now coming to the next point that is in case of angles which are 180 degrees or 360 degrees that is even numbers the trigonometric ratios remains the same that is sine remains as sine and cos remains as cos and tan remains as tan and so on. So for example we have sine 360 degrees plus theta. 
so 360 degrees plus theta lies in first quadrant and in first quadrant all ratios are positive and here 360 is an even number so we get the result as sine theta and then coming to the next example that is sine 180 plus theta so 180 plus theta lies in third quadrant and in third quadrant only tan and cot are positive and rest all other ratios are negative so here we get the result in negative and 180 is an even number so, so sine remains sine and the result for sine 180 plus theta will be equal to minus sine theta. And now let us discuss an example. So here in the given example we have to find the value for tan 480 degrees. So here we can write tan 480 degrees in the form of tan 360 degrees plus 120 degrees. So here it is in the form of tan 360 plus theta. So 360 plus theta lies in first quadrant where all the ratios are positive and 360 is an even number. So tan remains tan. So we get the result as tan theta. And here we get the result as tan 120 degrees and can write 120 degrees as tan 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. So here it is in the form of 180 minus theta which lies in second quadrant and in second quadrant only sine and cosecant are positive rest all other ratios are negative. So the result for tan 180 minus theta will be equal to minus tan theta. So that implies we get here minus tan 60 degrees. And here we already know the value for tan 60 degrees which is root 3. So here we get minus root 3. So therefore minus root 3 is the value for tan 480 degrees. And now let us find the value of cos 270 degrees. So here we can write cos 270 degrees in the form of cos 180 degrees plus 90 degrees. So here it is in the form of cos 180 plus theta. So 180 plus theta lies in third quadrant and in third quadrant only tan and cot are positive and rest all other ratios are negative. So here we get the result in negative and whereas 180 is an even number so cos remains cos. So here we get minus cos 90 degrees and we already know the value of cos 90 degrees which is that is 0. So here we get the result as minus 0 which is nothing but 0. So this was a basic introduction on trigonometric functions of complementary angles. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to edchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.